Hey guys, welcome to Reading with Miss Mills. Today we're going to be reading Show Me the Honey by Tish Rabe, illustrated by Christopher Morney. Show Me the Honey by Tish Rabe from a script by Ken Kerpris, illustrated by Christopher Morney. This morning, said Nick. I'd like honey on toast. That is the breakfast that I like the most. Me too, said Sally, but I'm sorry to say it looks like we're all out of honey today. Sally, said Nick, your joke isn't funny. I can't eat my breakfast if we're out of honey. Did someone say honey, cried the cat. What a treat. It's gloppy and sloppy and sticky and sweet. I love it on pancakes all fluffy and hot. Please pour me a bit of the honey you've got. It's all gone, said Nick. Is there some in your hat? Oh dear, said the cat. No, no, I do not have that, but I have something else. A special invitation to Queen Priscilla Bazoo's Dance All Day Celebration. She is queen of the bees and her parties are great, but we've got to hurry or we will be late. There's one problem, said Sally. Look here and you'll see. To go to the party, you must be a bee. Oh no, her invitation says bees only, please. Don't worry, said the cat. I know what to do. This is a job for thing one and thing two. So the two things ran in and the cat asked them, please do something to make us fit in with the bees. In a flash, those two things with their usual knock stripped the kids and the cat with yellow and black. I can't believe it, said Nick. I look just like a bee. This is something that I never thought I would see. We're off, said the cat. We will meet Queen Bazoo. We'll meet her and greet her and dance with her too. Push the shrinkle madoodle if you would please. It will shrink us down to the size of a bee. We'll fly past the ladybugs and wave to the birds who will sing us some songs that don't have any words. We will soar and what's more, we will dip and we'll dive through a hole in a tree and down to the hive. They got to the party a few minutes late and we stopped by two bees who were guarding the gate. Excuse me, one said. Where is your invitation to Queen Priscilla's Bazoo's Dance All Day celebration? Here it is, Sally said. The bee said, go in. The special bee dance is about to begin. Nick and Sally, the cat said, let me introduce you to the queen of the bees, Queen Priscilla Bazoo. Hello said the queen. Welcome to my hive. My party just started at a quarter past five. You are Venus, Nick said. I'd like to thank you. This is the first party of bees I've been to. Then they heard buzzing and in front of the throne, one worker bee started to dance all alone. She zigged and she zagged, then she wiggled and waggled. She slipped and she slid, and she jiggled and jaggled. She swirled and she twirled with a buzz and a spin, and then... More and more bees began to join in.
Soon all the bees were dancing and twirling. Wings and antenna were swinging and swirling. Then Sally and Nick began to dance too. Beautiful, cried Queen Priscilla Bazoo. Watch the bees, said the cat, and you'll get a surprise. They aren't just dancing to get exercise. The first bee that danced, Sally said, let me guess. She was showing them something. The cat cried out, yes. Her dance showed something bees need to survive, where to find nectar to bring to the hive. They get nectar from flowers. It's sticky and sweet. They use it to make the sweet honey they eat. Her special bee dance lets the other bees know where to find flowers and which way to go. Can we help them? asked Sally. The cat said, indeed, we can follow and help them find nectar they need. To the thingamajigger, get ready to fly. Hold on to your hats and we'll take to the sky. Let's go, said Nick. If we hurry, we'll see how bees make honey. How hard could it be? So they flew with the bees and slurped nectar, nectar from flowers, then returned to the hive in a couple of hours. Oh, wow. That's a long time. At the hive, they spit nectar into combs where it dried. Soon, all of those combs had sweet honey inside. In these combs, the queen said, we store honey away. This is fun, Sally cried. I could do this all day. Next, we must cover the combs, said the queen. This protects the honey and helps keep it clean. I like honey said Nick. I like honey a lot, but making it is much more work than I thought. It's late, said the cat, and it's time we must go, but we'll come back to visit you all soon, I know. So long, buzzed the bees, and be sure to come back any time you want honey to eat for a snack. Back home, they all opened their gifts from the queen, more jars of honey than they'd ever seen. The note says, said Sally, we want to give you the world's sweetest honey from the hive of Bazoo. I liked meeting the queen and flying through trees, but what I liked most, Nick said, was dancing with bees. All right, the end. I hope you guys enjoyed your book. Bye.